What up gamers? I'm Jason and today on Dice and Dragons I'm going to be unboxing Ghostbusters Blackout designed by John Kahn and published by IDW Games. Now I hope I pronounced the designer's name right. If you see the video, please let me know if I got it wrong. Now just to tell you a little bit about the game, Ghostbusters Blackout is a one to four player cooperative game. It is a dice chucking and dice placement game. So you're going to take on the role of one of eight Ghostbusters, or if you're playing solo, all four. You do need to use four Ghostbusters at all times. You will be moving around the boroughs of New York because during a blackout, all of the ghosts got out of the containment unit. So you've got to catch 15 ghosts and do it without having the city fall into chaos. So with that being said, I'm now going to switch over to the top-down view and we're going to take a look at what's inside. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for Ghostbusters Blackout. Well, just get the lid off, get it off camera, slide the box over, and take a look at what's inside. So we've got a rule book. I do like the layout. Everything looks quite nice. Doesn't seem to be overly complicated. We do have a quick reference guide on the back. And we're looking at only about an 11 page rule book. So that's pretty solid. Here we've got the tokens that come with the game. And they're sealed in plastic. Let's see how he popped out to what looks like one of the new Ghostbusters. So I'm guessing that this is based on the comics, at least with some of the new characters. I'm not quite sure, but we've got a nice variety with our Ghostbusters. So these are the tokens that come with it, where you only get one sheet, it looks like. Here we've got the board of NYC. Not the largest board. Let's get it properly oriented, just so everyone can see it. Well, actually put it, well, you can't quite see everything, but as you can see, you've got some trackers and Locations for you to move around the board as well as some places to put the cards. So overall Decent board mine feels a little rough on the edges, but the game wasn't the most expensive now here We've got the dice that come with the game. So we get a whole whack of them. Looks like we get five for each player and we've got the different player colors you can see by the stands there that they should match and then each of these has, looks to be pretty much like all, it's not quite like a six, well, it's a six sided die, but you do have two, what looks to be proton pack streams and everything else on the die appears to be different. So we're gonna get five for each character. So we get a total of 20 dice as this is a four player game. Now I'm just gonna place the dice all back in the bag don't want stuff getting everywhere. Unfortunately, it looks like we only get four standees, one for each character. I much prefer just putting people in standees and leaving them there, not having to change them up. But let's see if these are decent ones that are easy enough for us to get characters in and out of. Neil's trying to run away. So we got one for each character. They have a little bit of flex and give to them. It's not too bad. Doesn't look like they're gonna damage any of the components. So you should be just fine to slide the, guy, the characters in and out. I still would have liked four more. I mean, we only have eight characters. Would've been nice to just pre-base them. I always prefer everything, having everything set up. Now, this looks to be the characters. I will give IDW games credit for the packaging, easy to get rid of, easy to get characters out of. So here we've got Egon, Ray, Peter, Winston, Janine, Kylie Griffin, Melanie Ortiz, and Ron Alexander. So I really don't know some of these newer characters and judging from the art, it definitely looks like they are from a comic book and then the last component, but not the least, is our set of cards. Let's open it up. So we look like we have some equipment cards. 
that we're able to use. Definitely looks to be set up for each character that has their own equipment cards. Could be some general ones. Then afterwards we've got the ghosts that we need to capture during the blackout and put back into the containment unit. I do like the art for the ghosts. It definitely looks pretty cool. Now the cards are definitely a little flimsy. I actually would consider uh, sleeving these if I enjoy the game, but not too many complaints there. It does feel like they're well laminated, well protected, but they're just fairly thin cardstock and starting to get more and more picky about what I like to see in terms of cardstock and games. Now let's get everything back in the box so that we can get it all nicely punched out, organized, and ready to hit the table. So we'll get the lid back on and then just keep it right here because I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so that YouTube will make sure you stay tuned for our next video. Also down below in the video description, all the links to our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You wanna see pics of what we're playing and what we may be reviewing next on the channel. Well, that's a great place to find all of that information. Also, popping up in front of me shortly should be links to some of our other videos. So you will see a link back to the Ghostbusters card game and probably our newest release. And with that being said, keep playing games.